The story rotates around Vandiyadevan, an enchanting, bold and a splendid young fellow who embarks to the Chola land to convey a message to the Lord and the princess from the crown ruler Aditya Karikalan. The story transports between Vandiyadevan's movements in Chola country and the youthful sovereign Arulmoji Vaman's movements in Sri Lanka. The story manages endeavors by his sister Kundavi to carry back Arulmoji Vaman to lay out political harmony in a land apparently getting stunned with turmoil and indications of nationwide conflict, plotted by vassals and frivolous chieftains. Parantika Chola was prevailed by his second child Gandharaditya as the principal child Rajaditya had kicked the bucket in a fight. At the hour of Gandharaditya's demise, his child Madhuranthaka was a two-year-old kid and thus Gandharaditya's sibling Arinjaya climbed the lofty position. After Arinjaya's demise, his child Parantika II, Sundara Chola, was delegated. He had two children, Aditya Karikalan and little girl Kundavi and the more youthful child Arulmoji Vaman, the later known Raja Raja. When the story begins, the ruler Sundara Chola is sick and disabled. Aditya Karikalan is the general of the Northern Order and resided in Kanchi and Arulmoji Vaman, who might be renowned later as Raja Chola I, is in Sri Lanka in fight and their sister Kundavi Piriti resided in Chola regal family at Pazayare. The story is gotten underway, when gossip begins that there is a connivance against Sundara Chola and his children. One individual who gets a brief look at the Pandya schemers is a champion the Vandiyathevan at the royal residence of his companion Kandhanmaran. It is through Vandiyachivan that we meet the greater part of the characters in the novel like Arulmoji Vaman, the ruler whom every one individuals cherished, and Priya Pazavituraya, the chancellor who wedded Nandani, the fundamental plotter, when he was 60. During his childhood, Aditya Karikalan had fallen head over heels for Nandani, yet she turned wrathful after Aditya Karikalan killed Virapandiyang, who was likely her darling. It was a disarray which rotates in the story, a few says it was her dad, and promised to obliterate the Chola line. We additionally meet Kundavi Devi, who in the wake of hearing the fresh insight about the scheme sends Vandiyadevan to Sri Lanka to give a message to Arulmoji Vaman to return immediately. Besides these, there are different characters like Madhurantikar, the man whom the backstabbers need to crown lord, the child of Gandharaditya and Anirudh Brahmaryar, Sundara Chola's head of the state and the one who has eyes and ears all over. Be that as it may, the most brilliant person in the book is Brahmaryar's government operative Azikadian Nambi, a who wanders around the nation trying for discusses. He gathers data for the state leader and is dependably around Vandiyadevan, saving him during trouble. There are a few beautiful and delightful ladies as well, as Vanathi, Kodumbalur princess, the one who turns into Arulmoji's better half later, who is enamoured with Arulmoji, Punkuzali, the boat lady who pushes the future lord to Lanka, Mandakini, the challenged stepmother of the first Madhurantakar Chola and the auntie of Pungjali. Generally paramount among these is Nandani, whose excellence is said to have the ability to impact any man. Manimangalai, the sister of Kandhanmaran, the Kadambur ruler, who helps Nandini with practically no information that she, at the end of the day, is the schemer and furthermore he betrays Vandiyadevan, his best friend. In the Indian interim, with Pungjali's assistance, Vandiyadevan arrives at Sri Lanka, meets Arulmoji Vaman, and turns into his dear companion. In Lanka, Arulmoji Vaman understands that his dad had invested some energy in an island close to Lanka and had been with a young lady conceived challenged. He meets her and acknowledges from her drawing that she and his dad have had two youngsters. Who are those kids and do they reserve the privilege to the high position? Later one day in Tirupurambiam woodland Vandiyadevan sees Nandhani and the Pandya schemers put a little kid on a high position and take a promise before him. Who is this kid and what right does he have to the throne? While returning from Lanka, Arulmoji Vaman is trapped in a twister and disappears. Gossip spreads that he is dead, however he gets by and stays at Chudamani Viharam, a Buddhist cloister inn. Then, at that point, gradually the scattered family begins gathering. The plotters in the meantime pick one day in which both the lord and both of his children would be assassinated. Nandani meanwhile calls Aditya Karikalan to Kadambur castle to examine about the fate of realm. However Karikalan realizes that his life is in sheer peril, he goes to Kadambur castle. Notwithstanding cautioning from his granddad, Aditya Karikalan was then killed there. Meanwhile, Arulmoji Vaman recuperates and gets back to Tanjore, where he had to crown and he acknowledges to at first get the crown. Afterward, he deceives everybody and crowns to his uncle Uthama Chola.